Hi, this is Stephanie Hart with Hard Sell South Bay, part of the Forecast Realty team in Torrance, California. And today we are going to discuss, is this house actually active? It says active on the MLS. Why is my agent telling me it's most likely actually already sold? Here are some red flags that we see that we have insight into. Number one is, is the agent from out of the area? And that's not necessarily always a bad thing. Agents can list out of the area. I list all over SoCal, but it's just the first in line with several other things that usually follow. If you call the listing agent's phone number, is it an active working number or is it a disconnected line? Generally, when we want to sell property, we have the correct numbers listed. I know I do. Mine's always a working number. I've had the same number for 11 plus years in real estate. If you have a 1-800 or an 888 phone number listed on a property and you don't even get the agent's voicemail, you get a general voicemail box, that's another sign of an agent that you might not want to work with. <laughs> um, if you can't call that agent on a cell phone when all of us are plastering our cell phone numbers across billboards and advertisements, what's wrong? What's wrong there? You want to be able to contact that agent directly. Number three, are there limited showing instructions on the house? Are you only able to see it one hour a day? Or even worse, um, do you have to submit your offer subject to interior inspection? If you can't even see the home before you write an offer on it, generally something's wrong. And the number one thing that we are seeing in this market that indicates that something strange is going on with the property is the agent has listed it outside of its actual listing area. We have an undefined area on our MLS and I'm seeing a lot of agents put it into that undefined area. And most buyer searches are by area numbers, not zip codes. A lot of agents require text me for showing instructions. And in this day and age of technology, I text them, I have an iPhone, I see they've received it, I see they've read it. Do they respond? No. And there's several different reasons why a, a seller might do this or why an agent might. They might be trying to get all the buyers for themselves or the owner might actually be trying to do a loan mod and by putting it on the market, they, sh they show a threat to the bank. Like, look, I'm gonna do this if you don't go through with a loan mod. So agents will put homes that are short sales on the market in an area that it's actually not supposed to be in so that they can accrue days to show the bank that it had an open market time when it actually has not because it's in an undefined territory or a wrong area or listed in Gardena when it's Hawthorne or Torrance when it's Redondo. Um, and that's kind of a little sneaky thing we see agents do in order to sell short sales to their own buyer. This market is busy. It's crazy. There's multiple offers on all listings, especially the ones in the lower price points. Many buyers are so tempted to put offers in on properties like these. It's really not worth it. It's gonna tie up your time and your effort and it's gonna make it to where you are not ready to pounce on that next property that is active and ready for you to buy. If you have any questions, feel free to call myself or Jeremy Hart at 310-930-2342.